So for anybody like me that uses these trail cameras that use C batteries instead of double A's, I have come up with a different way of doing things so that you can get a little bit better battery life in cold weather. And by cold weather, I'm not talking about 40, 50 degrees. I'm talking yesterday morning in Minneapolis, it was negative 13, wind chill negative 30. With these kind of conditions, obviously any kind of alkaline battery is just gonna be garbage. So what you're gonna wanna do is take ultimate lithium batteries, and they don't make these in C, obviously, because they'd be way too expensive. There's no market for it. But <clears throat> I'll show you the, the data sheet straight from Energizer in cold weather. And the data sheet, of course, goes to 32 degrees, but you can kind of extrapolate that data down. You know. But essentially, what you gotta do is you gotta make this AA battery fit into the trail camera that's designed for C batteries. <clears throat> And then make these little battery holders, these things are uh, 50 cents on eBay. And what you do is you can just put the AA battery right in it and then close it up. The only problem that you run into is that the little coil spring inside of the trail camera is a little bit too big. It doesn't quite make contact on this negative terminal. So there, you have to do a little bit of work around to make that work. So what I've been doing is I take a drill, a pretty small drill bit, uh, one that is just small enough that I can fit solder wire through it. And I will put this pretty close to the edge. So now I've got the hole in this battery casing, I'm going to take solder wire, and I'm, I'm using this because this is what I got laying around, I mean you could use any kind of conducting wire, obviously the better the conductor the better it's going to work. Excuse my roommates in the background. So I snip off a piece of that solder, soldering wire I should say, um, and I run it through the hole and just loop it around like this. Just twist the end so that you can get a you know, full solid loop because then once you put the battery in you're going to want that to make a contact. So now you've got a closed loop in there and just make sure that it's touching the negative terminal of the battery. You can put this case with the lithium battery you can slide that into the trail camera and then just put your second one you only need to do that on the negative side you don't need to put it on all four batteries that you would put in here uh, just the, the two that go in first and then you're able to use the lithium batteries for your trail cameras that normally would take C and you're gonna get a lot better battery life even with these double-a size lithiums than you would get with alkaline C batteries so hopefully that'll help you guys out and another tip that I can give is that these are expensive. These things are like 10 bucks a pop for a four pack. Uh, eight pack are like 17, 18 bucks usually. But if you go on eBay, you can find them a lot cheaper. I got five packs of four for $25 on eBay, which is a lot cheaper than you can even find alkaline C batteries in the store. So there you go. Try it out. Let me know how it works for you.